Am I the A for cutting my mother's allowance to pay for daycare when she couldn't babysit for me? Throw away for anonymity. Last year, my husband, 35 male, and I, 34 female, had our first and last child. We were fortunate enough to be able to stay at home with him for almost a year by staggering our parental leave and vacations. But now that time has run out and we must return to work. I asked my mother, 56 female, if she would be available to watch him during the week. And she said no. Fair enough. That's her prerogative. My husband and I researched daycares in the area where we work and settled on one that came highly recommended. It was expensive, though, and that meant cutting back on expenses, like the monthly allowance that we've been giving my mother. A bit of background on this. My parents were married for 28 years before my father decided that he wanted someone younger and sexier than my mother. For all those 28 years, my mother had been a stay-at-home mom, then stay-at-home wife. With my father leaving, she was now meant to survive somehow in a world where she had never really worked, because when they got married, my father didn't want her to, and because she was raised in a traditional religious family, she did what the head of the household wanted. I'm not even going to go into that man's hypocrisy. Either way, he's gone, and even though she got some alimony, she didn't press for as much as she should have after that religious conditioning, and she's struggling. My husband and I have been supplementing my mother's income to a hefty amount every month, which was not an issue until we had to put baby into daycare. And finding out just how expensive that was in a VHCOL area. In light of that, we told her that we need to cut her allowance in half. We were not planning to start immediately, but would take the financial hit for three months to give her time to adjust and move things around. She got upset and told us that we were punishing her for saying no. I told her that was not the case. But it is hard to maintain two households virtually by ourselves if we have to pay an exorbitant amount of our salaries to daycare every month for the foreseeable future. She was still angry and asked us to leave. Later, my sister called us upset that we were abandoning mom and making her struggle just because she wouldn't do our bidding. So I suggested to her that she increase how much she was helping, considering she still lives at home. She called me an effing witch and hung up on me. So Reddit, am I really the A here? Edit to add. I wanted to answer some recurring questions here. My sister's ability to help is limited and sporadic because she struggles with mental illness. It got much worse in recent years, and we've worked to get her on disability, but that is a process. I guess that's why I feel bad about the comment I made to my sister, because it was a moment of lashing out when I know that she's in a tough spot, through no fault of her own. As for my mom, I will work with her to make sure that she can go back to work, especially given my sister's challenges. My mom is neither lazy nor a leech. Unfortunately, she's been beaten down by being raised in a traditional culture and having it drilled into her what the duty of a wife is. She was then betrayed by everyone when her husband left. Now for the comments. Not the A. You're not punishing her for saying no. You were being exceedingly generous to give your mom an allowance in the first place. But it's not your responsibility. If you can't afford it, you can't afford it. And you're still being exceedingly generous to give her half. If your sister isn't paying at least half of your mom's household expenses, mortgage, food, utilities, etc., then she's got nothing to say in the matter. Not the A. You have a small family to take care of. Your mom, at 56, still has plenty of time in which to work. While she might not get a high-paying job, she could still get something unskilled, if she chose. Many employers take into account things like, I spent my life raising my kids. That said, knowing nothing else about your sister's situation, it's hard to make a call on her behavior. So, 
pull out all of the family and sentimental baggage from the situation and look at it openly. Your mother's circumstances changed. As a result of that change, you adjusted to help her. Now your circumstances changed, so you needed to adjust. She has benefited for quite some time, but things change. From the start, she should have been taking action to limit her reliability on your family. Additionally, she chose to not watch your child. Completely makes sense and is fair. All one can do is ask. You aren't putting your child in daycare to punish her. It's because you need a safe place for your child while you work. The alternative is that one of you quits your job to stay home with your child, and the result is even less money for mom. Do not set yourself on fire to save someone else. Do what is best for your family and be firm with your mother. Don't allow her to guilt trip to force you to make a decision that negatively impacts your family. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.